Hi, I'm Ryan with Front End Audio, and this is the EC3 from Electric & Company. If you have not seen our line overview on who Electric & Company is, please do check out that video. There'll be a link up here in the description below. But this is the EC3 Tube Mic Preamp. This is a deluxe production version of the amplifier circuit from the old Ampex 351 tape machines. This thing is cool. We're gonna get into what makes it cool, but let's give a quick overview of the unit itself. On the rear of the unit, you have your XLR input and output. Note that the XLR input is for both microphone level and line level. So you can utilize this for processing pre-recorded material. You will also notice this honking Cinemag output transformer. This unit does utilize a Jensen input transformer. So we got tubes and transformers, a lot of character here. You'll also see the power transformer is a nice high quality Hammond and you have your IEC power cable input. Now on the front of the unit, the thing I love about it is it's clean, it's intuitive and everything makes sense, okay? What you have here is you have your instrument DI. This is of course a TS unbalanced quarter inch input. Then you have your ability to switch between microphone input, padded microphone input, and line level. So again, you can utilize this for dynamic microphones, ribbon microphones, condensers. Uh, it has 70 dB of gain, so you're gonna have no problem running you know, ribbon mics, passive ribbon mics with this. Uh, and then you also have that line input so that you can utilize this for pre-recorded material. This is a mojo box, so this will take pre-recorded material and add a lot of life to it. You also have your little switch here for switching between microphone and instrument DI. So killer on bass guitar. You're probably gonna wanna use this with the EC5B from Electric & Company because that combination is absolutely stellar for bass guitar. Then you have your variable input gain. This is where you're going to get just all of that level that you need. Right here you have a beautiful VU meter. You do have a switch here to be able to turn on and off the meter. You really only need the meter to set your level, right? Once you have your level right, you can just cut that meter off and you're not wasting the ballistics of that meter for no reason, right? So that's a very cool feature. Uh, here you have your output attenuation. If you have it at zero, that means you need less gain on the input, right? So you're gonna get a cleaner sound. I say cleaner because again, this is a mojo box. You're going to get tone out of this from the get-go, but it's going to be well, less saturated. And then of course, you have a negative 10 and a negative 20 setting. So when you're attenuating the output, you can crank the input a lot more, and that's going to give you more saturation to distortion. And with three tubes inside of this thing, maybe it's the guitarist in me speaking, but it sounds good in distortion. So sometimes you want that, right? Sometimes it just adds some growl to a snare drum or it adds some bite to a bass guitar when you're DIing. Sometimes you want distorted vocals. So that's a very cool feature to have. You then have, of course, your uh, phantom power there. It is regulated plus 48 volts. And then you have your power lamp indicator and your power toggle switch. So that is the unit. This has a very warm, thick, rich, vibey sound to it. Lots of harmonics, lots of just meat to it. It's a very hefty sounding preamp. Now there was one switch that you saw I skipped over and that's the phase flip. The reason I skipped over that is because not only does it invert the phase, but it actually functions kind of like a filter. I found that when I engaged that flip, uh, it softened the top or at least gave the perception of a softer top because there was more mid information. So you're likely going to want to experiment with that probably with like guitars, distorted guitar cab, or with bass guitars if you're DIing this, uh, a bass guitar with this, you know, you're probably gonna wanna play around with that and see if you like that. But it's a very neat feature that it does more than just flip the phase. I mean, usually when you flip the phase, you hear the difference, but this is, it's really honestly more like a filter. I heard 
much more mid content just kind of bloom up and it got warmer. And that's a really cool feature of this. I love stuff. I am a type of person, I love tons of mojo. I want mojo in everything in my studio. Uh, and this is all about mojo, whether you're DIing, miking, or processing, you know, pre-recorded material through it. This is a box that's gonna do a lot for you and it's gonna do it with a lot of sonic goodness and richness. So definitely if you're in the market for a box that's gonna have mojo and cover a wide variety of applications from microphones, dynamic to, conden to condenser, as well as instruments and line processing, the EC3 is definitely something you gotta check out. So for more information on the EC3, all the great products brought to you by Electric and Company and for all your pro audio needs, please do check us out on the web at frontendaudio.com. Thank you.